video recording for EduQuest is provided by WhatBurner. Take Skype video to the next level. Record, edit, upload at vodburner.com. So Sarah is uh, showing a little bit how the, I, uh, I assume the Spanish app uh, works on the iPad and how the learning actually happens. So um, that we have a little bit of this live element and how the course, work, how the course works. Good. Okay. Yeah, so here people, the beloved gizmo of the time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you in fact uh, the new version okay. which is um, the one that we're going to submit this week mm -hmm. so that you guys can see firsthand what oh, is sneak coming. Peek. <laughs> sneak peek yeah so we have here so this is the app mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so we have all this is basically our learn section on the website okay yes. so you have lessons icon for lessons can you see well we can see very well yes yeah so lessons notes is not there in the current version but mm -hmm. it's coming flashcards we have about us, contact us. So you see, like I take feedback so serious, I was, I made sure we have a contact button right here so it's easy for them to send me a feedback. Mm -hmm. So basically the way you work, we have all the lessons here okay. as we have on the website, okay? So we have level one, level two, and level three yes. of the lessons. So let's say, let's go on level one. So all the steps that we have on the iPad are exactly the same steps as we have on the web, okay? Mm -hmm. So the first one is here's the situation where you just hear the dialogue. This is just to get the user familiar with the, with the audio and uh, in the language. And so here. Can you hear? Yeah. yeah. So you have the dialogue right here. The second step is how you write it, mm -hmm. where you have the dialogue as well as you can see how the text is written. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you have getting the meaning, which all, you can always play the audio again. Mm -hmm. So we have getting the meaning with the language you're learning, and then you have the translation over here. Mm -hmm. Please, everybody, note this is not a direct translation because it cannot be that way. If you want to learn how to speak in the language, you cannot do direct translations. So I got some feedback. Oh, that's not how it is. I'm like, mm -hmm. look, yeah, that's not supposed it's, to yeah. be like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you need to convey the message the way they speak in their country. So it's not direct translation. So then we have now you say it. Here we mm -hmm. break the dialogues into sentence by sentence. Mm -hmm. So the student can practice pronunciation with themselves. So they listen each to each sentence at a time. And they can see the text if they want. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you have now you, now you write it. You listen to it. You come and type. And the computer check whether it's correct or not. And you can choose if you want to check with punctuation or without punctuation. So I didn't write anything. It's going to say wrong. Mm -hmm. Okay? So they can train. Sentence by sentence. Then we have build your vocabulary like we have on the website, which is a very interesting way to teach vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Within the, the, each lesson, each, each dialogue, whenever there is a word or sentence that can be substituted by others, you can just click on it and it comes. So, for example, buen, buenos dias could be buenos dias. buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Mm -hmm. buenas tardes. Buenas noches. So you can listen to the list of uh, words that could be substituted. Then we have let's practice one, which is a multiple choice exercise. And let's practice two is not available here because it's where you send the exercise for your friends to review. But again, okay, you can always yeah. click the Hello Hello logo. And um, I think we had a little light problem here, but it's coming back. It's India. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Even here in France, uh, we sometimes have uh, yeah. <laughs> electricity and internet problems. So. <laughs> So here from inside you can access the website itself. Here we are inside the website so you can create an account and log in so you can access the website itself from the app. That's what I said. You can still have the social networking component from here. We have flashcards nice. where you can choose. Then you have like the language of the front mm -hmm. and you can yeah. listen to the audio. Yeah. Audio is not there on this version now which is coming soon. So you can just click and Choose the language on the front, the language on the back, mm -hmm. and practice with the credit and flashcards. You know, we have notes where you can jot down your notes and then come back to them. And we are coming right now with the settings, with the default language of translation, where you can choose the, trans the language you want to see the translations in. So you choose in the whole app that all the translations are now in Portuguese. 
So that as a, as a translation of the instructions and, and the... And everything changes towards then yeah. the, the language yeah. you would like So this to is the sneak preview. So we, the, the only things we don't have, so just to make clear, the things we don't have on the current version is notes, the, the default language of translation, and audio on the flashcards. Mm -hmm. But we are submitting this version today. Ah. <laughs> <Actually>. <laughs> I think... I, I, I think uh, the iPad will do uh, tremendous things for 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 learning. Um, I mean, we can already see it's it's really that you have all the exercises, and therefore I think you need the size of the screen that you yeah. can basically have everything on one page, and then well, I mean the tactile. Okay, we have it on the iPhone too, but uh, I think it's really a device that uh, can you can be used uh, perfectly for for learning. Yeah. yeah so yeah, I yeah. think you you did a very a very nice job with the Thank with you. the. <laughs> Good. Thank you.